Bobcats are on the verge of winning the biggest football game in their school history. Arizona's 16-3 upset over number one ranked Washington back in 1992, ending the Huskies' 22-game winning streak, went down as arguably one of the most memorable moments in Coach Dick Tomey's more than a decade-long career as U of A's head football coach. With Wildcat greats like Rob Waldrop, Teddy Bruschi, Teddy Bruschi, Tony Bowie, Sean Harris, and Kashawn Johnson, it was the emergence of the famed Desert Swarm, an in-your-face defense that Tomey's most known for masterminding. Two years later, in the 1994 Fiesta Bowl, Coach Tomey and the Desert Swarm defense physically pounded Miami in the 29-0 victory. These are just a few of Tomey's 95 career wins with the Wildcats from 1987 to 2000. He ranks as the all-time winningest coach in U of A football history. One of the biggest years for Coach Tomey was in 1998 when the Cats finished off a 12-1 season by knocking off Nebraska in the Holiday Bowl. A great time for me uh, from Coach Tomey giving us that opportunity. Current Desert View High School football coach Robert Bonillas, the Nogales native, was a mainstay on that second edition of the Desert Swarm. You always go, you always have that, I wish it could have been more and more, but um, at least every time that we spoke, he'd hug you, he'd kiss you. Um, he would tell you how much he cared about you. Emotions certainly run high with former players when talking about Coach Tomey. The same goes for Pueblo High School's athletic director and head football coach Brandon Sanders, who also suited up for Dick Tomey's famous Desert Swarm. Brandon Sanders tells me what set coach Dick Tomey apart from others that are in the coaching world is that even after his career, he chose to make Tucson his home, at least part time. In fact, he also chose to dedicate his time to helping youngsters in all communities. That includes going to Pueblo High School to serve as a mentor to many at-risk youth and, of course, all the high school football players there. You know, I know he, he took a fond to a few of our basketball kids. Um, when I first got the job here, you know, he came and, and spoke to our kids in Lever Gym. Um, he's come to basketball games. He's come to football games here. Um, and not too many guys would just do that while they're retired. But Coach Tomey did. In fact, he doubled down on his dedication to Tucson's youth when I chatted with him two years ago. Well, I just take it very seriously when you get a chance to talk to young people who are the leaders of the future in the community. And I think football's a great training ground for that. And football players that have done a great job with their grades are especially appropriate for that role because I think it just takes a lot of want to and you have to overcome a lot of things with the time demands that football takes. Overcoming the odds, something Tomey did on the field with the Wildcats and in the community as a symbol of the person we all came to know making the U of A and Tucson as a whole rock solid.